Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly, Illmatic Fish Keeper Fucking Devils? You watch Aqua Funk Aquatics with me, Aqua Funk. And I'm very, very excited about this video because this is the whole purpose for Aqua Funk Aquatics, the YouTube channel, is for this video right here. It's to help out people who um, may not may not may not have access to all you know all the stuff that I I, I am. You know, I I, I live the life, so I, I have. Um, you know, access to a bunch of different um, avenues of answers. But some people have other things. They want to be a fish keeper, right? But they may not, they, they have other things going on, so they may not have the access. But she's a supporter of mine, so um, that's the access for her right there. I just happen to be flipping around. I realized that my homegirl, her name is um, DMV Dining Diva. She was having a live stream. I thought I'd stop in. i say, hello, how you doing? Show support. And uh, she took that opportunity to um, snatch me up and... Uh, and start asking me questions. Now I I know Diva's um, DMV Diva's uh, history on her fish. What she has is a Jack Dempsey. Um, she bought this 10 gallon aquarium. I don't know, maybe it was at a box store or something. And they went ahead and sold her um, a Jack Dempsey. And uh, maybe she wasn't quite aware that it was going to get so large. If she was, she you know she was going to make the plans to get a bigger one. Whatever the the, the thing goes, she's doing a great job. And uh, it's time for an upgrade. Um, so Big Boy, that's the name of Jack Dempsey. Like I said, she's done a great job keeping it so far. It's time for an upgrade. She found a free aquarium, right? So she runs into the dilemma, which a lot of people do. And by the way, um, if you know somebody that is new to the hobby or is having this type of dilemma, um, share this video. If you like, if this is helping you out at all, if anything I say during this video, um, if I tell you something that you didn't know before, um, Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, share. These are the things that's gonna help this channel grow so that, so that I can help more people, I can reach more people, and that's all I wanna do, is reach people who ordinarily would not have the access um, to this type of information. Hopefully, I can get them started on their way um, to be a, a full-blown hobbyist just like me or, other, or so, some of you guys out there. So yeah. In fact, I think <laughs> I think Diva is, is actually still doing a live stream right now. At any rate, um, yeah, it's very important to help this channel grow so I can help others out. So here we go. The purpose for Aquafunk Aquatics is this right here. Diva got a 10-gallon tank. She's ready to upgrade. She found the tank in the trash. They just threw it out. They got tired because they, they had one of their fish die, and maybe they, was, they had enough. They were fed up. A lot of you probably um, can relate. And again, that is what this channel is for. You don't have to get fed up and throw away your aquarium. You can, you can get the information you need so that that doesn't happen. But anyway, Diva is, uh, Diva has been blessed with this aquarium. She don't know how to do it. She, how do you go from having an established aquarium and moving it over um, to a bigger aquarium without killing the fish? Because she's, obviously, she's done a great job. She's got the tank clean. Um, she got some biological filtration going on. She's feeding it the right food. She's doing everything right. She's learned. This is how it's supposed to go. She wants to step up. So this is what we got to do. We got to figure out a way to go from established tank to brand new tank. I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff off the table. And we're going to go over the steps on how to do this with as little risk to the fish and, and as little um, screaming and hair pulling and, and frustration to the fish owner. That'd be you. All right. So here we go. Um, first of all, Diva, I believe you either have a, I believe you have a 29 gallon tank because um, from the looks of you sitting in front of the aquarium, it looks like a 29 gallon tank. And the reason why the size of it is important, um, I'll go ahead and uh, tell you that in a little bit. So let's say you got this, this is a 20, but I believe you have a 29 gallon tank. Which, um, it, by the way, if you get a brand new tank, uh, if you go on the internet and you look up standard aquarium size, you don't know how big it is, because it's brand new, you found it. Um, and you're not sure how big it is, if you go on to, um, um, standard aquarium, Google standard aquarium dimensions, it'll give you, and you take the dimensions of, you know, the length across, length up and down, and length front to back, it'll give you how big the aquarium is in case you need to know where. In fact, no, if you don't know, it's very important that you know um, because of filtration, um, uh, chlorine remover, um, putting that in there, and heater. So it's very important you know how big it is, and I believe you have a 29. Okay, just, just, from, just from looking at it. Not 100%, but I believe. So... You got this aquarium, you found it in the trash. What do you do next? Well, you got to clean it out. You don't know what was in it. You don't know um, what happened. The first thing you need to do is try and figure out 
if it will hold water. If you know the people that you got it from and they said, yes, it's been full of water and you trust them, then you're good. But if you don't know, if you're not sure, you, you want to check the seals, that the silicone along the sides of it right there. And you want to make sure they're good and tight. If you see any of that silicone pulling up, you know, coming off the glass, well, you, you might have issues where it leaks, okay? If you trust the people and they say, no, it just had water in it yesterday, I'm throwing it out today. And like I said, you trust them, then go ahead and fill it up with water. If you don't trust them or you don't know, you might want to fill this thing up with water for 24 hours, maybe in a garage or outside or something, to make sure it doesn't leak. Because you don't want to have it to find, you don't want to find out that in your home that it has a leak. So let's go ahead and say that the seals are good and it doesn't leak. What to do next? Get yourself a mixture of vinegar and water. 50-50, 25 to 1. I mean, um, 25 to, to, to just 25. Um, 25% you know, um, vinegar to 75% water. I, you know, I always say, however, however much vinegar I can stand the smell is how much I put in there. And all you want to do is wipe it down. Now what that does is the vinegar will kill any kind of diseases or illnesses or bacterias that are in the aquarium because you don't want to transfer that to your brand new fish that you're trying to do right by, right? You, by no means do you want to use soap and water. You don't want to use bleach and water. You don't want to use Windex. You don't want to use absolutely no chemicals whatsoever because that'll kill your fish okay so the vinegar and water after you're done with that you want to wipe the wipe it down the vinegar is not going to hurt your fish if there is some residue in it you know you don't want to have straight vinegar but uh you want to wipe it down and try and get that vinegar and water out of there um as much as possible um fill it up with water empty whatever you want to do you want to try and you know um get the the majority of the vinegar and water residue so you don't want to pour a bunch in there you want to use a damp rag with vinegar and water. You want to get, you know what I mean? Because the more you put in it, the more you have to take out. So you got it vinegar and water, you wiped it down. Now you're getting just regular water and you're wiping the residue off. Okay, you're good. So what to do next? You're ready to go. This thing is clean. Here's what you do next. Okay, so while talking with um, DMB Dining Dina, Diva, um, I noticed that she did not have a heater in her aquarium. Now, Jack Dempsey is a South American cichlid. Um, it is an aggressive cichlid. Jack Dempsey's aren't the most evilest of cichlids, but, you know, they can, they can get kind of rowdy, um, as she found out because it's killed one of her other ones, which is a good point. One of the reasons why I think Big Boy killed that other fish is because the tank was too small. Okay? So, now you have a 29. And we'll get to that in a second about adding fish. Um... What you want to do is, you got the tank free, right? You want to you want to um, move your filter over. Now, from what I saw in the aquarium that you had, and this is something that a lot of people have, you had one of those internal filters, which is fine. Which is fine. The only problem with it is that it's rated for a 10 gallon. Well, now you have a 29. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get a filter for 29 and use them together. Okay, so you put your new filter on there, and I know I'm talking right now, and you're thinking, oh man, I just see ching, money, money symbols just get burning up in the flames. Um, if you go to some of the big box stores, they might have some discounts or stuff, stuff like that. But uh, what you want to do with the old filter stuff is not put it directly in this tank at the moment. You want to put the new filter on, not the old one. And I'm going to tell you what to do with the old one. The old one is very important that you keep it dirty. You do not let that old filter touch any chlorine water whatsoever okay so you put that filter on the new filter the clean filter all right then you come over here now diva also doesn't have a heater and um she's had it like this for quite a while well here's the thing diva your fish likes the um your fish your particular fish likes the water to be anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees normally pushing um 78 degrees would be optimal you don't have one and you you um were curious well how did i had this fish for so long well if you're you keep your house hot your water temperature in your tank has been good um but if you want to be 100 percent, and you could continue to do that um if you keep a warm house your tank will be warm um, but you're not 100 percent you know if you're if it's the winter time and and the um, the heat ever goes out, the power ever goes out, you could run into a problem where the tank water will also get cold along with the house, and now you're running into issues. Um, so, to be sure about the temperature in your water, um, you can put a heater in there. 
uh, like I said, you, you don't cost, they, they, don't, they don't cost that much. Um, you, I know peop, some people worry about, well, now if I put, you know, lights on there and I got an extra pump and I got an extra, one single aquarium with a heater, a filter and lights really do not put that much money on your bill. Heaters, you set it and forget it. The good things about heaters is they have a thermostat. So um, what you do is if you set it to 78 degrees, once it reaches 78 degrees, it will turn off. Once the temperature gets beneath 78 degrees, it will turn on. So if you keep a warm house, this probably will never be on, but it's good to have. All right. So you got your decorations in there. You have your new filter on there. And then it, there's instructions on your um, filter. Um, when you go to the store to get a filter, they're rated for different size aquariums. Um, you want to get the one proper for your aquarium. And there's instructions saying what to clean and what, what not to clean. Sometimes there's, there's um, charcoal or, or carbon. You want to rinse that off. But at any rate, just read the instructions on that. You'll be good. So now all that's together. You want to get yourself your chlorine remover. You fill the tank up with water. Uh, all the chlorine removers, um, for the most part, have their own... Um, dosing instructions you just read the instructions you have a 30 gallon a 29 gallon tank it'll tell you um most most um chlorine movers do not say for 39 um, 29 what they will tell you is like for every 10 gallons so you just do it as if it's a 30 okay you fill that up so now you have your fish with the filter in your old tank right this is the part that's funny after you put this um chlorine remover in the aquarium you let it sit for about an hour okay about an hour then you can put your old filter in the new tank now what that's gonna do is that is basically your old filter already has all the biological filtration necessary to keep your fish alive so you can let that run for 24 hours and the very next day you can put your fish in all right, you don't have to wait the weeks that you originally had to wait for your tank to cycle. It's already instantly cycled because you're using that, um, that old filter. Now, the reason why I say you want to wait an hour is because you don't want to put that old filter with all that beneficial bacteria in the aquarium with chlorine water. You want to let this take effect. So give it about an hour and put that, that filter in the new tank. <clears throat> okay, so now you have the filter. Everything's in here. All you have is a glass box of water with your fish in it. This is what you do. If you have an air bubbler, an uh, 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 air pump, put your air pump in I say if you, you really need to have an air pump, um, put it in there, okay? And that will keep your fish alive for the 24 hours that this thing is cycling. Let's say, you know what? I, I don't have the money for it. I don't have the, I done bought, a, I done bought a, 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 a pump and I done bought a heater, which maybe, um, I'm not putting a, I ain't putting a, I ain't buying another thing right now. I just don't have the money for it. Okay. Okay. So if you don't have a air pump, then go ahead and put your new filter on here for 24 hours. Leave your, put your old filter in here after the, chlor after the chlorine remover has taken effect, right? You put this in for an hour, put your old filter in here, put your new filter here. Now, this is not going to be doing anything as far as filtering your water because it doesn't have any biological filtration, but it will, it will produce um, air bubbles in your water from the splashing and your fish will be all right. 24 hours comes around, you switch big boy into the new tank and you're ready to go. He's going to grow even more because you're taking better care of him, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Look, finding bigger tanks and doing well with your fish, having it grow, uh, that's a good problem to have and you're doing a great job. And I appreciate you coming to me for um, answers you might have. I thank you so much, Diva. Um, and if you have any more questions, please let me know.